Hello everyone, strangers123 here today with uh, another replay, Cost. As you can see, I'm playing my tier 8 battleship, the Fuso. <clears throat> That's not a joke. And, well, we're in a game of, uh, domination on Neighbors. Well, anyways, getting on with it. North Carolina, North Carolina on the enemy team. We have a Turpit, Colorado, Nagato, Bayern, and me. Uh, let's see. Optical Edinburgh. Uh, well, Edinburgh, Kutuzov, Davalasko, Stjord, York, Cleveland, Nuremberg, and the destroyers are reasonably fine. They get a public Shinola division. We have a Shiratsuyu, though, so I'd definitely say we have the torpedo advantage. Anyway, starting off this game, loading pretty bad ammunition, I guess. I mean, if you've ever watched me play the Fusa or if you saw this game on stream, you'll know exactly what kind of ammo I'm going to be spamming all fucking game. That's right. In my opinion, the best ammunition to be spamming in a Fuso is the number one ammo, high explosives, because it's fucking broken! Let's see, can I in a battle actually access? No, I can't. Whatever, uh, the stats something like 5,000 something, 5.6k HE damage, 28 something fire chance, I don't know. The fire chance isn't ridiculous in terms of what you'd expect. But it doesn't really matter, because you have 12 battles out going, and you still have IGN dispersion probabilities, which means no matter how shit the overall dispersion probabilities are, shooting battleships still means you're typically going to hit, like, uh, 3 shells, 4 shells-ish out of your 12. Although, having the worst dispersion probabilities compared to, for example, some other Japanese battleships doesn't mean that you're not going to be as good at sniping citadels as, for example, something like the Amagi. Anyways, opening up the game, enemy Kudasov now detected firing her guns. I'm contemplating launching a scout plane, but I see her turning away already, so that's honestly, in my opinion, a bit of a waste. Targets, you know, that are going to be in range shortly will probably just, you know, me and I screw my shots up. Anyways, the enemy's in B and A, and they go enemy Shinonoma up, which means Fubiki right behind. Take a punt at the Shinonoma, uh, but fortunately, I think only my rear turrets actually fired. My uh, front turrets uh, probably hadn't caught up yet. Replay's being a little bit derpy, but uh, I don't manage to pick up a hit. Maybe if I fired all my guns, I could have, but uh, the intention was to fire one AP salvo at destroyers in the beginning, and then swap the high explosives. Now, keep in mind, with high explosives, your HE shells have a much worse travel time than the AP shells. Sure, initial velocity doesn't seem to indicate that, but the trajectories are much higher which, uh, well, put it this way, it'll come in handy later on. Anyways, you can see how ridiculously far ahead I'm leading. Anyways, those torpedoes are right in front of me. Those are Shinonoma Torps, so I'm not at all worried about them reaching me. And even though those Subaki Torps, I'm not worried about them either, because they were fired from, like, two kilometers further back. Anyways, I have a look at this ridiculous dispersion now going, really spreading out wide. Picks up one hit, doesn't seem to do anything, though, but, uh... Map sucks to be me. I have the range to fire them at, uh, and I've got nothing better to be shooting them, so I might as well. In my opinion, I'll make a bit of a mistake here. I'll swap the AP, but I can uh, keep a reasonably similar lead as the AC shells, and I know that those shells will be falling a little bit on the front of the ship this time, I believe, so that's pretty much exactly where I want them. And here you go, they're going in, like I thought, a little bit on the front. Two overpens. If I had fired HE there, I think I would have done, well, I would have done a lot more damage because those two overpens were on the bow and that would have been, what, 3.8k damage-ish, 3.6, instead of the 2,000 I get. Fubuki is spotted, I'm still firing AP, so uh, those AP shells are definitely going to be very useful against Fubuki. Swapping to high explosives though, because I'm thinking, you know, figuring that I might be shooting at battleships, but look at that, 4,000 damage off the guy from overpen, so I'm definitely not off to a bad start. Especially since damaging destroyers is always nice. Anyways, Nagato's up. I'm thinking, well, I'm being targeted by one guy. I'm thinking it's probably the Nagato pointing in my general direction. But now all of a sudden three, so I'm like, uh, how do I want to turn this? I kind of want to turn in. I don't want to be turning out. That North Cal's not pointing at me, but there's still another one around. Nagato's uh, got incoming shells. Um, there's absolutely no point whatsoever looking at the... Uh, uh, the Naruto, the more important thing is to figure out who the fuck else shot me, and it seems like a North Carolina did across the map like I thought. It was the second one that was uh, not the one I originally had a look at. Shadow was up, and I'm swapping to armor piercing, so this is uh, definitely a good time to uh, have AP up, because I can... Well, in my opinion, I'd probably do more against the Shadow with AP than HE. Although, actually, with the Fubuki, I would have wrecked the Fubuki with HE, because it does more damage. 
And they go 4,600 damage with AP off that guy as well. So their destroyers are definitely not having a good day being shot at by me. Right now, I'm just hoping our team can pick the Shinonima up and the Colorado Obliges taking her out of the game. Whiskey Vitz is up. Uh, I kind of want to shoot that as well. Yes, through so the bane of uh, destroyers, especially with Japanese uh, style uh, dispersion. I'm gonna take a punt at the Whiskey Vitz, but I think that's a bit of an under lead. And now I'm gonna swap back to high explosives as I see the Nagato is still taking that one fire. No hits on anything over there. Wasn't I don't actually exactly remember what I was trying to shoot, but uh, considering where I am right now, not in, really in the world's most fun position. And as long as this plane's spotting me, that's definitely not fun either, although Nagata will be spotting me from down there unless our team can fresh that away. But uh, commence Operation Spam High Explosives, because I'm a piece of big fucking shit, and um, this is exactly how you play battleships, guys. Spam fucking HE. Good as I was unloading on me, and I don't really like that, so I'm not really keen on sticking around too much. This North Carolina is going to play the game properly and try to angle against me, the bastard. I'm going to show you that I do not give half of a flying fuck about your angling because I'm a HE spamming piece of Omni you purple unicorn knows how to play the game shit because clearly that's how you play battleships. At the moment, if he just wants to sit there, I'm fine with that as well. And also North Carolina, I have this thing called armor, so your AP shells can at that range mostly go and fuck themselves as well. And have a look at that dispersion! Come then, here, have... 5.6k damage, 5 shells out of 12, 15 kilometers. Blah. No fire those because the fire chance isn't as good. If the fire chance was like 40 or 30%, then I think this ship would be completely broken. Right now I'm contemplating whether the guy's going forwards or backwards. I'm just looking at the guy's range, the 15 kilometer range, compared to my own speed, and I know I'm slanting well, I'm sliding slightly forwards, and if the guy is not gaining range, well, closing range on me, but he's stationary, then I know that he's going about 5 knots backwards, and there you go, you can see he is in fact going backwards. Unfortunate salvo with only 1 hit, 1881 damage though, but I set a fire, so that's good for me. Especially if he's not willing to put out 1 fire, which would definitely be the right choice, it means I can, well, 28 seconds later, or like 27 and a half with my adrenaline rush, send another bunch of HE shells at him, and if I set a fire this time and he decides to put him out, one of the fires would already have burned for like 20 something seconds. And due to my reload, and check that dispersion out, BAM! Eight and a half thousand damage from the front angle! Eight out of twelve shells, comrade! So he's definitely not having a good day, he's put the fires out down to half health already. But I am a Fuso, I couldn't give a flying French fuck about you trying to get out of my range. I have 21.8 kilometer base range and a low plane scout, so you're not really gonna get out of it. He hits me for 7k in mid return with AP, of course, less of that can be regenerated because fire damage is fully regeneratable. No fires there, which is a bit sad face, I cry every time. But, uh, well, some of the destroyers show up, Whisk is out of range, and the Fubuki's already gone down. I'm thinking, ah, I kind of want to shoot back in the North Carolina, but he goes invis, uh, and then reappears. I'm hoping I can maybe pick up a shot on him before he goes invis. But I also definitely want to be moving out of my current position. And there you go, you can see with, with AP shells, I would never be able to shoot them over that island because of the trajectory. The AP shells have a much flatter arc than the AP shell, uh, well, HE shells. Getting in another 4,000 damage with HE there. AP would have done a whopping load of jack shit. Unfortunately, no more fires off that, and that's the uh, reduced fire chance of the Fuso coming into play here. And no, I am not playing with IFHE. I wish I did. Just kidding. Anyway, he's gonna send a parting salvo and aim, hope they could do something. And now I'm kind of just contemplating how I actually want to move. Uh, since I can't actually get my mouse cursor, since it's kind of broken, I was kind of thinking of going south. There he goes. Five hits uh, that cause damage, one fire. So he's definitely having a really bad day. He needs to disengage, otherwise, he's gonna continue burning. Should I see you spot him? And, uh, well, I personally want to try to remove the off first, because that's just a useful thing to get rid of. The North Carolina, I couldn't care less. I can burn that down later if I have to. There you go. I take a, I take a chance at the Kutuzov. Unfortunately, my gun turrets are turning and I kind of wanted it to head the other way. Our team is kind of falling out of the water. Look, look at that. We're down two ships. We're down a battleship. We're down basically all our destroyers. They still have Whiskey Beats alive. We're down a battle, uh, well, a battleship, I think I said that. And the tier 8 cruiser, they're down the Rattago, however, and their tier 6 division, which is kind of nice. The only thing remaining is a Buiscavitsa doesn't have that good torpedo range. 
And off, now you can see the ridiculous amount of lead you have to give, even against a, well, I wouldn't say slow, but not really the world's fastest battleship either. The Stewardess picks up the Whisker Beat, so that means no team has any destroyers, which is a bit unfortunate because we're points disadvantage, ship disadvantage, and they have Bravo Cap. So, I'm thinking, you know what, let's just, let's just you know, I'm a tier 8 battle cruiser ship destroyer AG spamming piece of shit, so I'm going to go in and uh, fight these North Carolinas on full HP because I couldn't care less, I know how to play the game, I'm a really really skilled AG spamming battleship RNG player that sits at the back of the map using the 22km firing range, while our North Carolina is uh, clearly dying. I don't like uh, sitting stationary with the uh, Fuso, it just really isn't that good, and there you go, almost 10,000 damage with high explosives, da comrade. You want to angle against me? I don't care. Yep, our North Carolina is in a really awkward position. You can see that on the map, pretty much everything is going to be taking dumps on the, that guy with HE, AP, absolutely everything. One of the North Carolina is asking for mercy, and I'm going to go in and say, Nope, I want to burn you down. I just want to see the world burn. And there you go, you can see the North Carolina reappears. I'm thinking, Maybe I can take a pop shot at the guy, but that's completely fair. I want to start picking up their Clevelands because I can angle against the North Carolinas because chances are they're going to be trying to be shooting America piercing at me. Unfortunately, I think my number 5 and 6 don't actually derp over the island, but it's not going to be that major of an issue. I have enough shells out going, and I pick up two hits on the guy anyways. 3,000 damage with two HE shell hits. AP could have... Well, AP's hit and miss. With that, I definitely think I would have damaged him, but uh, with AP and probably would have killed him, but hey, screw it. I, I'm a skilled battleship player. I'm a strong, independent Fuso, and I'm gonna spam AG. Anyways, right now, I'm, I'm hoping that the uh, Axiom North Carolina in the distance, the, the guy that's... Well, basically, I'm probably the one that's done the most amount of damage to that guy by now. I hope he turns his attention to shoot me instead of the North Carolina as I get another 5080 salve on the, on the first one, and he puts his Damacon out. So, I'm gonna keep spamming AG at the guy. I'm gonna set the guy on fire even more, because I know how to play the game. You want to angle against me? I don't care. Anyways, I'm, I'm tracking inbound from the North Carolina in the distance. I really couldn't care less. If he wants to shoot AP at me at this kind of an angle, good luck with that. Your travel time isn't the world's best either. And there you go, 8,500 HE damage, and I set you on fire. With AP, probably most of that would have said blink. Now, of course, you can always uh, heal all of that up, and you can see the North Carolina in, not in the distance has been regenerating quite a bit. But, uh, well, for the moment, I've got the target in front, and I see that I have number 4 on fire, so I'm going to be greedy, and my team didn't set any other fires, so I'm going to shoot the front of the ship, and here, have 3 fires, 8,500 damage, comrade, have a nice day. Now he's got 3 fires burning on the ship, no damage control party, those are going to be lasting. The WF guy, I think that's Kutuzov, yep, Kutuzov has now a high caliber witherer as well, and in Kutuzov you kind of expect that, and the guy's almost dead. I'm seeing that this North Carolina is going to burn to death, and I pick up a freaking arsonist off the guy, poor sod. So I'm going to go and MLG this Kutuzov HG across off the map, and you can see the ridiculous amount of lead I have to put into these shells. I don't care too much about the Nagato, because hey, it's a Nagato, sure, if he, you know, he can take 15,000 of my health from the front, I'll just heal off of that back, so I don't really care. Priority is to use my amazing Fuso dispersion to do that to the Kutuzov. Definitely getting lucky with the dispersion in this game, not so much with fires. He sets me on fire in turn, I couldn't care less. I'm thinking, uh, should I shoot the Nagato? Should I not? I think the Nagato's gonna die anyways because the rest of my team's still up. I've been turned down south as well, so... I'm going to continue burning at this North Carolina. Right now, not the world's best angle to the Nagato, but I don't think he's interested in me. Right now, I definitely just need to fight this uh, North Carolina in front. Terrible aim, but I still pick up one overbend. He does 8,000 damage to my front, I don't, with AP, sure I can only regenerate past that, but for now the moment is to try to half-heartedly angle against the Peter Bombers, and not over-angle against the North Carolina, but with what I see coming from the torpedoes, I can make sure I only take one, and it's going to be a belt tank, so I can accept that as long as it doesn't flood. If it floods, I'm just going to be forced to damage on it. No biggie, but hey, comrade, dispersion, how does it work? So that's my high caliber as well. Well, this takes a bit longer than a Kutuzov, because I deal about the same amount of damage as a Kutuzov for a salvo, but I have, like, what, four times worse rate of fire? Well, three times. But, then and again, the Kutuzov is tier 10 cruiser, and I'm on the A tier 8 battleship. North Carolina whacks me for 18,000 through the front. I'm actually, I actually don't think he's Citadel. On stream, I, 
I actually said he Citadel me, but realistically he didn't because of the amount of health I can regenerate. I highly doubt that. But to be completely honest, that was such a lucky shot. I'm not really that worried about it. I'm gonna just angle out and get my next salve on him. He's kind of turning out. I don't really care. I don't have AP loaded and I'm not going to swap to AP either. He had a rare turret on me, but uh, I can angle in decently enough before his main guns come online and uh, armor, comrade! Unfortunately, I'll also go fix up the kill so I don't get to farm any more damage. And being the HE spamming POS I am, I'm going to spam HE the zero two as well because I know how to play this game. I'm a really, really skillful player. I think my aim was being horrendous, and I was actually a little bit tipsy on the stream when I played this. Um, I'm Asian, I had like a little bit of alcohol, and I already felt tipsy, so hey, uh, that's my excuse. I'm sticking to it. But yeah, this is one of the, well, it's one of the more interesting games in the Fuso. Well, actually, to be honest, completely most of, uh, most of my uh, Fuso games are interesting, and someone's Want to know the North Cows I've been burning down is like happy I'm you're not on the war spite. I don't read well, war spite or not, it wouldn't really matter. And amazing shooting, strangers, you are great at this game. You think the, the high fire chance, I think it's actually 36% fire chance, doesn't really matter because I have just 50% more guns outgoing. Sure, war spite guns are more accurate, but with the war spite, let's be completely fair, you should be spamming armor piercing because those AP shells 15 inch are actually really good. Anyway, some other guy picks up the Ryujo, so let's have a look at the post-battle result screens. 167,370 damage, 6 planes shot down, I think it's 3 dive bombers, 3 torpedo bombers, we can check that later on. 90 shell hits, 2 kills, 13 fires. I think all my AP shell hits were over penetration, so Comrade, HE does more damage, confirmed. High caliber witherer and a arsonist on that poor North Carolina I just burnt to death. Having three fires on the men that he couldn't put out was, I guess you can say, very unfortunate for him. Quick look at the post-battle results. You can see my tier 8 battleship Fuso is above the other tier 8 battleship, the Turpids. The North Carolina kind of just sat in the open and got farmed. So 2,273 base experience, not a bad game. They could as well just couldn't farm us faster than we could farm them. And they kind of went towards the A side, so they were basically screwed by default. Detail report, 65,000 off the one of the North Carolinas, the one I got the Arsenal is off, 70,000 off the other guy. So you can definitely say I was doing a lion's share of damage off these guys. Having a look at uh, the screenshots of the actual damage, I did take them. Height of Ita, North Carolina that I got the Arsenal is off, modules damage, 32 AA guns. Fires, 28,000, main battery, 37, 25 shell hits. So that's 25 shell hits for 65,000 damage. Like 2 point something thousand damage per HE shell. Much better than the 1000 I was getting off overpens. Well, okay, 10 hits for 10.7. You know, I got one pen somewhere in there. And a couple of deflections of the North Carolina in the beginning. The other North Carolina, 70,000 damage, 49.6 off HE shells with 47 hits. Uh, I did actually AP the guy for 2k, but uh, you can see each eight. Well, each HE shell is already causing it a overpen worth of damage on average. Some of those shells on that guy with HE were shatters. But then on top of that, I have 21,000 fire damage. Of course, at close range with AP, I could obviously try to delete them by getting citadels, but that's only if the broadside, if the thing in at long range like that, shooting AP at the front, really isn't going to do me too much good. Sure, half of the damage I deal cannot be regenerated through AP due to the way heals work, but that's not really what I'm going for. Being able to just burn them down with HE for well, slightly higher damage cost numbers is always a lot more fun. Plus, as they're trying to angle their armor, I can just come in and say, screw you, I'm going to hit you for 5k from the front with HE and set you on fire. Credits and XP, 283,000 credits. Of course, I'm using full premium consumable package. Without premium, this would have been 160,000, so it still wouldn't be too bad. Uh, since uh, there was a mention about how you know much credits you can earn and which ships are best at earning credits without a premium account, in my opinion, the best ship for earning credits without a premium account is any tier 6, 7, or 8 ship you have that is you know, no premium account, no premium ship, that you enjoy playing the most and do the most, well, do the best in. Sure, I can tell you, like, ah, oh, Fuso's great, ah, oh, Armageddon's great, uh, Cleveland's or Skjord's or 
whatever, Fiji, something, great, whatever. But if you suck in the ship, you hate the thing, and you don't have fun in it, it doesn't really matter because it's not doing you any good. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this replay car spamming HE like the dick I am, and well, I will see you guys in the next one.